I have trouble saying paper production, not a plastic bag. It was a paper bag. Arr. It is an undeniable fact that humanity produces more and more waste. For a long time, we sent that waste to landfills until we realized that that just causes a lot of other problems. Nowadays, we try to recycle most of our waste, but what can't be recycled is burnt. Also not an ideal solution. The Zero Waste Movement believes that the best solution to the waste problem is not to produce any waste at all. But since not everything is available without packaging, Zero Wasters prefer materials that are easily recyclable, like paper, over packaging that is very often not so easily recyclable, like plastic. Paper is made from trees. So the question arises, is the zero waste movement killing our trees? Is the zero waste movement, while trying to save the world, inadvertently killing our forests? Hello, you lovely people, and welcome to another video. My name is Coco, and I like to talk about living zero waste and sustainability. The idea for this video stems from a comment from one of my viewers, who was very irritated that zero wasters want paper packaging made from trees, when a few years ago the main goal of environmentalists was to protect the forests. It is fair to say that that is a good point. Is the zero waste movement inadvertently destroying our forests? Let's look at this in a bit more detail. I am from Germany, so I will present research and data that is connected to Germany and our waste management here. But you are more than welcome to do some research on the situation in your own country. First of all, I think we can agree that waste is a big problem. If you haven't been living under a rock for the last few decades, you have seen and heard news of the pollution of our environment by waste, especially plastic waste. If we look at the situation in Germany, we can see that the amount of waste produced annually has stayed more or less the same over the last 20 years. 400 million tons of waste. More than half of our waste is from the building industry which is the yellow bit in the middle. Whereas urban waste makes up for about an eighth of the total amount of waste, that is 50 million kilos. That is the blue bit at the bottom and that has also been pretty stable over the last 20 years. Urban waste means waste from private households, but also from doctor's offices, hospitals, schools and such. When we look at the amount of waste that ended up in landfills, we can see a drop from 19% in the year 2000 to 12% in the year 2021. That is the green bit at the bottom. But the amount of urban waste that ended up in landfills dropped way more drastically from 21% in the year 2000 to less than 1% in the year 2021. That is the blue graph at the bottom of the chart. This amazing result has on the one hand to do with the fact that Germans became better at recycling, yes. But just because 1% of urban waste lands up in landfills does not mean that the rest is automatically recycled. Oh no. It means that the rest is utilized in some way. And burning waste to produce energy is utilizing waste in the statistics. When we look at the plastic waste that stems from urban waste in the year 2020, only 60% of what ended up in recycling bins was actually recycled and 40% were burned. One of the reasons for that is that plastic is not just plastic. There are hundreds of different types of plastic and sorting and recycling them is quite difficult, especially since the demand for recycled plastic is oftentimes quite low. So, in the end, even if we put it in the recycling bin, it very often ends up being burned. Now, let's look at some other materials. Glass is way better recyclable than plastic. Over the last 20 years, the percentage of glass from packaging that was recycled was always around 85%. And the numbers look even better for paper. Around 90% of all the paper that Germans put in recycling bins was actually recycled. From these numbers, it is quite obvious why zero wasters prefer paper over plastic. If you put paper in the recycling bin, you can be quite sure that it becomes paper again. But if you put plastic in the recycling bin, chances are quite high that it is being burned in the end. But is that actually sustainable? As with all types of packaging, it costs energy and raw materials to produce paper. 
And there is quite an interesting study provided by NABU, an environmental group from Germany, that compares different types of packaging according to their sustainability and ecological impact. This study looked specifically at three things. The overall impact that the packaging had on climate change, the amount of resources that were used to produce the packaging, and the amount of emissions that these types of packaging were responsible for. In terms of paper, three different products were compared. Pasta, muesli and strawberries in a paper bag, a plastic bag and in a cardboard box. It is very interesting that the paper bag was always the most environmentally friendly option, even if it was made out of brand new paper. Ergo, even if trees had to be cut down for these paper bags. On second place was the plastic bag and on third place was the cardboard box. Except for the strawberries where no paper bag was available and there the cardboard box was the best option. The reason for the plastic bag winning over the cardboard box is simply that the cardboard box was heavier than the plastic bag, which means that more emissions were produced during transportation. As you can see, you have to take into account quite a lot of things to decide what is the most environmentally friendly option. What was not taken into account was the fact that if the paper packaging had been made out of recycled paper, it would have been even more environmentally friendly because making recycled paper takes 71% less energy than if you make new paper. And it also has 12% less impact towards climate change. It is sad that the study didn't take that into account because then the cardboard box might have been the better option compared to the plastic bag. But there you go. When buying paper packaging, you don't always know if it was made from recycled paper or from new paper. And that's probably why this study didn't look into it. But how high is the probability that paper packaging is made from recycled paper? Well, I can only try to answer that by looking at the paper industry here in Germany. The German paper industry produced 21.6 million tons of paper in the year 2022. Around 18 million tons of recycled paper were used during the production. That means that nearly 80% of that paper consists of recycled material, which is quite a high percentage. However, 4 million tons of new paper were produced, and that means, of course, that trees had to be cut down. About 1.1 million tons of trees came from Germany for the production, but the rest was imported from Sweden, for example, from Finland, but also from Brazil. As the NABU, the environmental group here in Germany, points out, the international market for wood is not entirely transparent, which means it is possible that rainforest was cut down so that the paper industry here in Germany can produce paper. And to be honest, that sucks, big time. But the big question in this video is, is the zero waste movement connected to that? Are zero wasters partly responsible for that? To answer that question, we have to have a look at how the paper production has been developing over the last few years, and especially how much paper has been produced and what it has been used for. First of all, from 1990 until 2017, the paper production continuously grew in Germany, from 13 million tons to 23 million tons. But since 2018, the production has decreased to around 21.6 million tons. In the year of 2023 alone, up until September, 17% less paper was produced than in the same period last year. The amount of paper produced for different product groups has also changed. In the last 20 years, the amount of paper used for the production of graphic paper decreased by 40%. This is, for example, due to the fact that newspapers and books are read more and more digitally today. On the other hand, the amount of paper used for the production of paper packaging went up by 40%. Aha! Uh -huh, there we have it! The zero waste movement is responsible for deforestation. But not so fast. Yes, the amount of paper produced for paper packaging has increased enormously, but that is mostly connected to online purchases. Mm hmm, 
all those Amazon packages. They are so convenient, they are so practical, but they also use up an enormous amount of paper packaging. From 2013 to 2017, in only four years, the amount of paper produced for packaging connected to online purchases went up by 50%. That is in Germany, of course. All of these numbers are for Germany. Apart from that, we have to take into account how much recycled paper was used to produce these different types of paper. According to the paper industry of Germany, the amount of recycled paper used for the production of paper packaging is 99%. But graphic paper, for example for magazines, is only produced with 51% of recycled paper. And toilet paper production, believe it or not, only uses 43% of recycled paper. That means 57% of toilet paper is made from new paper. And trees had to die for that. For toilet paper. Can we just agree that that is stupid? Can we please all not do that? Can we all please just buy recycling toilet paper? All right, so this video was full of data and statistics and graphs, but honestly, that was necessary to be able to give you an in-depth answer to that question. If you look at the numbers, there are a few things you have to keep in mind. Number one, we use much more paper today than we did 30 years ago, but paper production has also been decreasing for the last three years. Number two, the amount of recycled paper used by the paper industry is today much higher than it was 30 years ago. Number three, it is true that trees are cut down for the paper production, but these trees are mostly used for the production of graphic paper and toilet paper. I hate to say that so much, but yes, toilet paper. Number four, According to the paper industry in Germany, 99% of all paper packaging is made from recycled paper. Number five, the biggest amount of that paper packaging is not used for products that you can buy in the supermarket, but for online purchases. And last but not least, according to the study provided by the environmental group NABU, Paper packaging is always the more environmentally friendly option compared to plastic. In terms of climate change, in terms of resources and also in terms of emissions. And let's not forget that paper, as opposed to plastic, is so much easier to recycle and if it ends up in the environment, it just rots. Plastic doesn't do that. To sum this all up in one sentence. No, the zero waste movement is not killing our trees and zero wasters are not responsible for deforestation. If anything, the zero waste movement aims to reduce all kinds of waste, including paper waste. Instead of using single-use paper cups or bowls for food and drinks to go, I have my reusable coffee cup and stainless steel lunch boxes. Instead of buying books, newspapers and magazines, reading them once and then forgetting about them, I have my library card and I only borrow books. And instead of buying toilet paper made from new paper, obviously I buy recycling toilet paper. But if I have no choice than to buy some of my groceries or toiletries in packaging, I will always prefer paper packaging over plastic packaging. And now that I have done all that research, I know for sure that that is the most eco-friendly option. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. I would like to thank you very much for watching. This time quite a lot of research went into this video, so if you got any value out of it at all, I would really appreciate it if you liked, commented or subscribed to my channel. That would really make my day. But before I sign off, I just wanted to say, even if you think there's nothing you can do, there's always something you can do to make this world a better place. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.